an opportunity to smell the smells, the sights, the sounds here along uh, Chili Roaster Row here, and it is great atmosphere. Now, if you are coming down to Pueblo this weekend to enjoy the festivities, let's join our Natalie Chuck now with more on what you need to know. Natalie. Rob, I have been looking forward to this day ever since I first moved to Pueblo. The 27th annual festival is officially here, but one thing that has stayed the same throughout all of those years is the purpose behind it. Supporting and showcasing Pueblo's rich agriculture and encouraging people to shop locally, especially for produce. But some changes have been made this year. If you want to see farmers roasting chilies, most of them are going to be located on the north end of Union Avenue in front of the Senate Bar and Grill next to the El Pueblo Museum. They say this spot is going to be better for foot traffic and all of the farmers are just excited to have a more normal looking chili festival for the first time since the pandemic hit. I think it's great. You know, we've got a new spot this year. We've got shade trees behind us. There's a lot of people coming out already. It's early yet. I think it's going to be a great festival. And today is just the start. The festival runs through the weekend starting at 10 in the morning on Saturday and Sunday. It costs $5 at the gate and coming up on News 5 at 6. Rob, we just heard from the governor about how important events like these are for our local business and, and the economy down here in Pueblo. You'll hear from one local business owner over on Union who says the, the Chili Festival is quite an experience for business owners every single year. Always watching out for you, Pueblo. Natalie Chuck, News 5.